Welcome to Blank Stage Studios, the set of Thrive America. I'm your host, Brent Brooks. Today, we're joined by film producer Unique Beyonce. Unique has brought a very unique uh, list of, of ways to, uh, to thrive in this economy with your independent film as it pertains to marketing. Uh, Unique, thanks so much for being a guest here on our show. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little, little bit about yourself. Well, I'm an independent film producer, and I have a nonprofit media arts organization called Unique Productions, and we make educational films that target social issues affecting youth, such as teen pregnancy, domestic violence, and drug abuse. And our latest film, Life 101 Angel Secret, it targets a teen pregnancy prevention issue. Tell us a little bit about, I guess, why you, you wanted to talk about uh, this, this topic. I went through a lot of trial and errors when I was making my film, and I want to help other filmmakers to, you know, know ahead of time what to do so that they won't have to go through everything that I went through or, or the mistakes that they went through. Because I learned a lot after the fact, and if I can share that with other filmmakers to help them get a, a successful film, I'm more than happy to do so. Unique, you talk about how uh, we need to market during the pre-production phase. Can you shed some light on, on how this is done? Well, the pre-production stage is the most important stage of filmmaking. This is where all of the planning is done. And a lot of time, filmmakers, they're just in the production stage. The only thing they focus on is the script and getting the actors, and they're just ready to shoot. But it's important to prepare for marketing in this stage as well. For example, getting your niche. That's very important on, so you can target your audiences, your main consumers, and you'll know exactly what are you putting out there so you'll know who to market it to so it can be successful. And another thing to focus on is are the press kits. Getting your, your synopsis and log line together because you have to know, tell people what your film is about in order to get them interested because if they don't know what it's about, they're not going to want to, to watch it. And it is very important to know, to have a, a synopsis that is also captivating. You don't want to just put the whole movie out there telling them everything so that when they get it, there's no surprise or there's nothing they're looking forward to. And I think the log line, it's, it's fun to do, but it's important because it's like the, it's like branding your, your project. You know, um, if you think of some of the films that you've, you've watched lately, their taglines are really cool and it matches the title. So you have to make sure it matches the title also. The next principle you bring to us is marketing during the production phase. Uh, what do you mean by this? Some of the ways that are easier, like I was saying with the photographer, having a photographer on set, he'll be able to capture captivating photos for your artwork, such as your cover box, the back of the cover box, as well as flyers and posters. And you also want to get footage for your trailer, the scenes that will bring, make the person want to watch it. These are very important, like I say, because you can market your film through these outlets before the film is even completed. While you're shooting and you're on set during production, you, can, you may see a very powerful scene that will say, you know what, this will make a lot of people want to see this. Or you may see just like a perfect picture of a scene and say, this would be great for the front of the box. This is what's going to market my, v my movie. This will be the vehicle to get everyone to want to purchase it and watch it. And one thing that we didn't do on our set, but I think is a good idea, is to have a documentary of your, your cast and crew. It could be a student who, this is their first experience working on your film, and, and they can just you know share everything that went on with them. And this, will, this little documentary can be like a whole new project, which can be used as a marketing tool for your movie as well. Okay, Unique, assuming we've done our pre-production work and we've gotten some some great content in the can in the production phase. How can we market our film during the post-production phase? One thing a lot of filmmakers do, we are so adamant about what we have and we're like, this is good, I did it, everybody's going to like it, I'm gonna put it out, I don't want any inputs, you know, and that's the wrong thing to do. Have some people come in and just critique it. You know, we have to be able to take constructive criticism in, in order to be successful in any business. So the test screening is, is very important. And also with the artwork, not just the film, but show them some of your marketing materials to go with the film. They may say, you know what, that person on the screen says nothing about your movie. Why don't you have maybe the lead character instead? Or, you know, like for the movie Transformers, you have the big Transformer there. That, that brings people in. If you just had the actors on the front, you're like, okay, what, you know, why would I want to see them? So it, it's very important to test the artwork as well as your rough cut, and then you can make changes before you actually finish. Next, you talk about distribution. H how can we better market our film during this phase? Well, this phase is, a, is very important as well because a lot of filmmakers, especially beginners, they say, okay, I want to make a film. But when I sit with a, a potential client, I always ask, well, what do you want to do with it? 
what is, what is do you, what is your goal? Do you want to just show it to family and friends? Do you want it in stores? Or what do you want to do with it? Or just film festivals? And a lot of filmmakers aren't aware that they can put it in stores. And, and that can be done through targeting distributors. You have to find a correct distributor who, who are the people who will actually take your film and even give you a license fee for it and pay you for your film. And they'll put it in stores and market, market it for you. But it's important to find the correct distributor, one that does the films that that has the same genre as yours, you know? So that's, again, from the beginning, that's why it's important to find your niche and your targeted audience so that when you are searching for your distributor, it will help, it would be easier for them to pick that film up. So hypothetically, once your film is done, it's gone through the independent uh, festival circuit and it's been picked up, how can we continue to market uh, our, our movie? I would say when once your film is already out there and in stores, don't stop marketing. Still continue to market your film. Whatever your niche is, target that community. Go do different workshops and, and seminars and different events and let people know, hey, I still have this great film. We put a lot of work and effort into it. You want to still continue to send whatever your message is out that's in your film and just, even if it's just to make people laugh, you know, we need that all the time. So just keep doing it. Keep marketing your film and don't stop. Well, Unique, you're officially off the hot seat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, one question that we like to ask our guests is, is how we can improve what we're trying to do here on, on Thrive America. So Unique, how, uh, what advice can you give us to take this show to the next level? Well, I think you're doing a great job first, Brent. I think this is a, a good opportunity for a lot of people like myself as small business owners. And what I would suggest is to improve in your pre-production stage, maybe market not just the program now, but market it to the viewers on who's coming up next, what is going to be your next topic. That way, if I'm watching one of your interviews and I'm saying, I wonder what they're going to do next week or wonder what the next show is going to be about, I can tell other people about it and say, hey, guess what? This is going to be on here. Watch this. You know, it's going to be very informative. I've saw their past shows. So I think that would be, you know, a plus for you guys. Uh, thanks, Unique, for sharing that with us. And we'll definitely take you up on, on that advice. Uh, what are some ways, if people watch this show and they want to get in touch with you, what are some ways people, people can do that? They can go to our website. It's uproductions.org, the letter U, or even just you know send a blog of, from the show, and I'm willing to a answer questions or just read comments, so please do that. Yeah. All right. And tell us once again your movie. Um, uh, tell us once again a little bit more about your movie and, and, and how we can go about getting your movie. Okay. It's, it's called Life 101 Angel Secret, and it targets the social issue of teen pregnancy, and it has some of Atlanta's actors in it. It's available at Blockbuster, Amazon, and Netflix, and you can even go to our site, and there are links on there. And yeah, just support positive filmmakers trying to send out a message. You know, we want to show Hollywood that positive films can be successful as well. Well, Unique, thanks so much for coming on the show and sharing with us uh, some of your experience, your strength and hope, and some of the things you learned from your past projects. And I think what you share with us today is really going to benefit future uh, filmmakers, um, independent filmmakers, as as they learn how to to market their film. In addition, in addition to making uh, a great movie. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it, too.